Welcome to um, my next video, which is going to be the next part of the traditional morphometric measurements. So uh, we're going to be going through the meristic counts today. We'll start on the dorsal fin, counting the spines. Um, just holding the first spine with your finger and then using the stick to count each one. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, and that's it. So 14 spines, and then you'll do the rays, which are the soft parts of the fin. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And then we do the same for the anal fin. So we've got 1, 2, 3 spines. If we just grab that last spine there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Um, the next thing to do, you can count the number of cheek scale rows. So all the rows of cheek scales here, count how many there are. So there are three there. You can also count the number of scales along the lateral line. So best thing to do is just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, and then go down the line to this one. Twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine. Um, these are the main discrete measurements you do on the outside of the fish, but you can also do some inside. So we could count the number of rakers. So here we've already dissected this out. And then we could count the number of rakers on the lower limb, on the upper limb, and on the joint. With the lower pharyngeal jaw, you could count the number of pharyngeal teeth across the posterior region or across the midline. 